Okay, first, you, uh, open Blender. It's kind of imperative. Uh, this is the starting cube. Uh, you just center your mouse somewhere near it. We're going to want to scale this up to make it big enough to be a domain. You some Put your mouse somewhere near the center of the, of the cube, and press S, and drag your mouse away. Make it about yay big. It's pretty good. And then you go down uh, to here, to this very familiar, hopefully, panel down here with all these different tabs. Go to this one that has the three axes. Once you're there, there's a few options over here. There's this one, which is animations and all this good stuff. And the next one over is physics. There's like collision physics, there's cloth, soft body, but we're, we're going to do that later. Right now we're going to do fluid. Press the fluid button and the domain button. Inside of this wonderful cube here, it, it's going to uh, go on with all the water computations that Blender is going to do. They won't happen outside of this cube, so you got to make it big like this. Next thing you do, so you can see inside of your cube, is you press Z to go into wireframe mode. Now you see it's just white lines. You press space to add an icosphere. Subdivision 4, because that just looked good. And you scale it up a little bit, so it, it'll drop a good blob of water. Then you do basically the same thing you just with the, did with the cube. You go down here to the fluid except you say fluid this time. Press both to get the most amount of water you can coming out of there. Then you right click back on your big domain cube. Down here is for all sorts of settings. Settings, advanced settings, boundary types, particles, but we're gonna stay with standard for now. Right here is this resolution. You're not gonna want to change up for your first few bakes because you're not as good with Blender as you can be. So you're going to want to wait for a little while and learn how to use this before you turn up the resolution and have it bake longer. And then there's this nice bake button here. Nice and big, obvious button. You just click on it. It does everything on its own. It bakes the frames. It's kind of jumpy because it's baking so many frames in a row. I normally do very high resolution water, so this is amazingly fast for me. And just watch it bake. You get to see the gist of what's going to happen in your animation when it's done. And you watch all the water come back together, you know. Woohoo, this is so cool. <coughs> you wait, and you wait, and you wait. This is the life of a blender artist, waiting. Well, look at that, it's almost done. 241, 250, there we go, it's done. And then you can press Alt-A to watch the animation. It's pretty cool to do. And once you've seen enough, you press escape and you press Z so you can see it without the wireframe. Next thing you're going to want to do is get rid of that annoying little sphere that's still there. You right click on it, make sure you're not selected the domain of water, and you press M. This little layer selection here pops up and just send it to the second layer because that's just easy to do. You send it there. And now you can't see it and you watch the animation and look, it's gone. But you still see the water. That's good to do. So now that's we're basically done. That's all I have to tell you for now. Bye.